Hey guys, it's Steve here from CG Geek with 10 quick tips on how to shoot footage for visual effects. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to Alex Wilson over on Patreon for supporting this video and requesting it. Also, if you have a video or tutorial you'd like to request, go sign up on my Patreon page where you can request a custom made tutorial. Link around here somewhere. I'm also just going to give a blanket apology if there's a lot of wind noise in the background. I'm on the river here and it's uh, pretty windy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first tip, probably the most important tip, is always film with camera motion. You don't want to be filming on a tripoded off, locked off shot for your visual effects shot because that will just look lame. When you add your visual effects dinosaur, someone's just going to be like, well, that was easy. You didn't have any camera motion. Plus, camera motion makes everything look that much cooler. All right, now next tip is going to be shooting with a high shutter speed. If you have a slower shutter speed, there's gonna be blur between your frames whenever there's camera motion, which is gonna make it really difficult for you to camera track your shot later when you go to add visual effects. So you'll wanna crank your shutter speed up to something probably above 5 hundredths of a second, just to make sure that there's no blurry frames between frames when you're moving your camera around. So that leads me to the next tip, which is write down what your camera settings were when you filmed your shot. Because if you don't know what your focal length was or your aperture, it's going to make getting an accurate camera track much more difficult. So yes, write down what your focal length was, what your shutter speed and your aperture speed just in case, because later in your 3D software you're going to want to punch those settings in to get the best camera track possible. So next you want to make sure there's a lot of high contrast points in your footage. If you're shooting a wide open blank ocean or something, for example, it's going to be impossible to get a good 3D camera track later when there's nothing to track and there's no points that the camera can recognize, if you know what I mean. So for example, if I'm going to be putting a 3D alien on my floor, I'm going to want to put some camera trackers down. Now you can use some loose change or what I like to do is use some masking tape so I can just stick some camera points anywhere I want in my footage and then that will be some really great points to track later in my 3D software. For example, when I was doing the mobile home visual effects shot that I posted on my channel a few years ago, I went ahead and put some electrical tape where I was doing my 3D visual effects and that made camera tracking the scene way easier which allowed me to get a much more accurate camera track. Okay, so the next tip is going to be locking your camera off on a tripod and adding the camera motion later. This is going to be for those shots when you need to film like an ocean for example and you want to stick your pirate ship in the background and there's just nothing to track in the scene. What you do is you lock your camera off on a tripod, you zoom out a bit so you have some extra footage on both sides of your frame and then you add the camera motion later in post to get that realistic camera motion that would just be lacking without it. So next you're going to want to avoid shooting tripoded off pans, zooms and fast motion. All these things can be really difficult to camera track later in your 3D software. So next you always want to make sure to shoot a flat background plate. This is going to be handy for example if you had to mask something out later in your footage or something. Having a flat background plate without any actors or anything in it is going to be really handy just in case you need it. So next you always want to shoot a 360 environment map of whatever location you were filming at. This is going to be really handy for adding realistic reflections or something to a 3D model that you might be adding to your visual effects shot. So I recommend using your smartphone to do this, it's super easy. You can get an app called Street View, it works on iOS and Android and you can easily shoot a 360 environment map of your surroundings and then you'll have that for your visual effects shots if you need it. The next tip is going to be using the sky as a blue screen. Now it's not real blue right now, but I think it will actually work pretty well. Just keep in mind your actors can't be wearing blue, like this for example, or you're going to have to mask it out later. But believe it or not, it actually works quite well. Another tip is going to be making sure you have something in the background and the foreground of your shot. It's going to make it way easier to get a good camera track 
when you have that depth in your shot so it can track something distant in the background and something close to the camera and you'll just get way better results. All right, so that was the 10 tips. Again, I wanna give a big shout out to Alex Wilson for sponsoring this video and having the idea. I'll be doing a follow-up video to this where we actually use Blender to add some 3D objects to our footage and do some camera tracking. So maybe, maybe two more videos. So let me know in the comments if you guys like this kind of video or not. Uh, it helps me to improve my content and uh, that's gonna do it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Lighting. Yeah, I'm still recording.